functions? A function is a series of lines of code in a block. You call a function by providing a name of the function followed by brackets. Sometimes you'll provide values between the brackets. These are called parameters. A function can optionally return a value. When we create a function in JavaScript, we use the keyword function, followed by the function name, then an opening bracket. If we're using parameters, then we enter them now. Parameters are like variables. We supply a name. If we have more than one parameter, then we separate the parameters using commas. Once we've listed all the parameters, we enter a closing bracket. The keyword function, the function name, and the brackets containing optional parameters are called the function definition. Having provided the function definition, then we enter an opening curly brace. At this stage, we've entered the area where we add our JavaScript code. If the function returns a value, then we use the keyword return. This can optionally be followed by JavaScript code. When the running program encounters the word return, it will exit the function and return to wherever the function was called. The function must have a closing curly brace. A few examples will help enormously. Function multiply a, b, return a times b. In programming, we use an asterisk to specify multiplication and we end each line with a semicolon. Now, if we enter multiply 2, 3, we get the answer 6. By entering 2 as the first parameter inside the function, the parameter a will have the value 2. The second parameter is 3, so inside the function the parameter b will have the value 3. The function returns the value of a times b, which in this case is 2 times 3, or 6. If instead we enter multiply 12, 7, we get the answer 84. Now a is 12 and b is 7. a times b is now 12 times 7, or 84. When we create a function, we're creating a block of code statements that do a useful job and that we can reuse many times. We've met functions already in the course. The methods used by the string object to lowercase starts with index of these are all functions in programming you will often find that angles are in radians not degrees a full revolution in radians is 2 pi let's create a function that will convert degrees to radians function deg to rads angle cons pi equal 3.1416 return angle divided by 180 times pi Notice here we have more than one JavaScript code line. A function can have many lines and may call other functions as it executes. Notice we use a forward slash for the division operation, asterisk for multiplication and forward slash for division. Since a full revolution should be 2 pi, a half revolution should be pi. Enter deg to rads 180. Here, 180 is a half revolution in degrees, and the function returns the approximate value for pi that we used in the function. What happens if we just enter the function name? We get the function itself returned, not the result of its execution. Notice inside the function that we created the constant pi. What happens if we enter pi? Do we get the value 3.1416? No, we get an error. Uncaught reference error, pi, is not defined. That's because the constant pi only exists for code inside the function. It's described as local to the function. And we'll learn more about this. It's called scope in a later video. Now you've learned about functions, can you create a function that will convert a distance in miles to a distance in kilometers? A little tip, you need to multiply by 1.609 to get an approximate answer. Pause the video now and give it a try. My answer is function miles to km dist return dist times 1.609. If we enter miles to km 5, we get 
8.045. Perhaps it's a bit too precise. Suppose we only want a single number after the decimal point. A number is another JavaScript object. Just like a string, the number object has several methods. One is a function that will convert the number to a string with a specified number of digits following the decimal point. Enter func and choose the function definition from the list. Now you can edit it. Surround this times 1.609 with brackets and add dot to fixed 1. Now if you enter miles to km5, the answer is 8.0. So now you know about variables and functions. And it's time to write some code that handles conditions. But first we need to install VS Code, a great code editor, and clone the course resources. See you in a minute.